everybody to Water Johnny. And in this video, I'm gonna be fishing with the Savage Gear Lily Ninja Mouse and this telescopic rod and reel set. Let's see what happens. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, woo, holy cow, folks. Todd Water Johnny here, man. This is what we came here for. Look at that. Get back here. Look at that right there. That's the kind of beast that we came here for. Hey everybody, it's Top Water Johnny. Look at that beast right there, baby. I think I won the tournament with that one right there. I am the one with this one. Hey everybody, it's Top Water Johnny here, and I want to welcome you to the next video here. In this video, I'm fishing with the Lily Ninja Mouse right here as well as this telescopic rod and reel combo that I bought off of Amazon here. And the reason that I have this is because sometimes when you're out and about, you don't always have your equipment with you to fish. So having a rod and reel set that you can just whip out really fast and cast, and you know when you're seeing those juicy spots, and you say, man, I would love to fish that right now, but I only have a few minutes. In other words, I only have maybe a few minutes to fish, or I don't have my rod and reel set with me. One of these kind of rods right here, one of these kind of telescopic, would be a great addition to have in order for you to be able to just get out there and fish real quick. So what I've got here is this particular setup right here. Like I said, got my little, little ninja mouse on here and the telescopic thing sets up here, but it's got, I put 15 pound braid on it so that it would, um, you know, so that I wouldn't have any problems. And as you can see here, as I'm extending it out here, this right here, and this is a smaller rod right here for me, especially this right here is actually a six foot rod right here. Extends out really great here, as you can see here. And the biggest thing about telescopics that I've come to realize is that the actual, the actual eyes have to be totally in line correctly. So I've got, like I said, 15 pound braid on here and the rod is pretty much a pretty good rod. It's like on here, it says pretty much here it is like five to one here. And what I wanted to do was just have something that I could bring out really fast and fish in those spots to see, you know, like I said, when you're passing by and you don't have all your equipment, but you got one thing loaded up and set, that's what this is all about right here. So that's what I've done here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out and we're gonna fish with this particular rod and reels combo right here. Also in this video, you're also gonna get a chance to see me fish with the Lily Ninja Mouse in some other situations and in some other scenarios so that's what we're going to do here is take this out fish with it see what we can do but then you'll also get a chance to check out footage of me fishing in other places with the lily ninja mouse as well so let's go ahead and get started all right everybody we're out here got the lily ninja on there it's a little windy at the moment but you never know Kind of the key with on windy days is you want to cast into the current, whatever way the current's blowing, you want to cast into it and then try to run opposite to it, which will give the bass a clue that there might be a prey item they want to pursue because it's, it's actually going, it's trying to go against the current a little bit, which may help them notice it. There we go. There we go. On a mouse. On a little mouse. On a mouse, everybody. We got caught in them weeds. There he goes. On the mouse. There we are. On that little field mouse. That little field mouse is getting it. So we're putting a little mouse in here. All right. I 
couldn't believe I missed him three times. He just never got it. He never got the hook. Wow. Never got the hook. There we go. There we go. On the mouse. In the weeds. Got him. On the mouse. In the weeds, as you can see, not a very big one, but on the mouse, in the weeds, so that was a good one. You know, just a little dink, but we got one, so that's all that really matters. There we go. There we go. There we go. Woo! Got a good one on that one. That's a good one. A good one right there. Got him on. Got him on the mouse. So that's a good one right there. So, you know, heavy lily pads. Heavy cover. But... We're able to get something done here. So, heavy little pads, heavy cover, but well, we got one over there. So he's less than a, uh, he's probably less than a, a little bit, about a pound probably, about a pound. He's kind of got a little weight on him, and it's that evening time, so they're eating bugs. So that's good. All right then. Hey everybody, it's Topwater Johnny here. I want to thank you for watching this video here. As you can see, it's already collapsed back down again here. Got it collapsed back down. But I was fishing with this telescopic rod and reel set combo here in a portion of the video. Then in the other portion of the video, you saw me fishing with other rods and reels, but still using that Savage Gear Lily Ninja Mouse and putting in work with that as well. So I wanted to show you some footage of the Lily Ninja Mouse putting in work. But then I also wanted to show you some footage of this telescopic rod and reel putting in work as well. One of the things that I'll say about it, because I bought, I got it off of Amazon, so it really wasn't a lot of money. It was around 50 bucks for it. This right here is a good, just leaving your car kind of rod here. It is not the best rod, and what I mean by best, meaning it's not like super duper high, high end, but it's a practical rod that you could have. You could set it up with some braid, and you could toss it and fish with it and put it away. You could travel with it, put it in your backpack. So for the investment amount of 50 bucks, then I think it was well worth it to have this just to do some of that quick fishing when you can't do your main fishing. So what I'll do is I'll put a link in my description so that you can go over and take a look at it. Personally, I don't, I'm not endorsed by this group or anything like that, but I'll give you a link to where you can access it and check it out for yourself if you want. But once again, it was a lot of fun fishing with the Lily Ninja Mouse. Catching one on a telescopic reel is pretty cool, but you saw I missed a few as well trying to fish with it. So there was a learning curve there, trying to get used to how the rod operates. I'm used to seven foot rods, this was a six foot rod. So I had to kind of get myself used to that as well. But anyway, it was a lot of fun, I enjoyed myself. I hope you had fun watching all of the video of the mouse putting in work as well. But once again, what I want to do right now is say that phrase as always. But before I say that phrase, please like and subscribe to the channel. And always remember that phrase when it comes to top water fishing. Keep your line tight. Because when they hit those top water lures, it's going to be a big bite. All right.